We Indians love to debate and after politics the most discussed topic in our nation is cricket. <laughs> and the most raging debate in the Indian cricket verse is that who's been the better captain between Virat Kohli, MS Dhoni and Saurav Ganguly. It's a tough choice which will divide the fans every time with debates and endless anecdotes. But who really is the better captain when it comes to results and statistics? We're only using success rate to compare. Let's start with Dada, the Prince of Kolkata, the Maharaja, the God of Offside. No one back on the offside back. And there can be many more. Without a doubt, Ganguly was the one who taught the Indian cricketers to fight and he led by example. Many former cricketers compared him to a gladiator who got Indian cricket to come out of the match fixing shadows. So what was special about Dada? Statistically speaking, Ganguly was captain of Team India for 6 years from 1999 to 2005. In one day internationals, Dada led India in 147 games and won 76 matches with a win percentage of 53, which is the second best to Steve Waugh in that era. In tests, the Bengal Tiger led Team India in 49 outings, winning 21 with a 42% success rate, which is almost the best in that time. His successor was the fan favourite MS Dhoni. Captain Cool from Ranchi led the team from 2007 to 2018 in limited overs and 2008 to 2014 in test cricket. In his first major tournament as the skipper, MS got back home with the World T20 title. Of course, no one can forget that. But the bigger win came in 2011 when Dhoni lifted the World Cup in Mumbai as Ravi Shastri went berserk on the microphone. He finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup. Statistically speaking, Dhoni had a better time when it comes to numbers as compared to Dada. In one day internationals, Mahi's success rate was better than Ganguly. With a 59.5% win rate, Dhoni won 110 of the 200 matches he led Team India. In the longest format, Dhoni was slightly better as well when it comes to the numbers. Dhoni had a 45% success rate and won 27 of the 60 tests as captain. Let's now look at the present Indian captain, Virat Kohli. You either love VK or hate him, that's his charm. But leaving behind all the swearing and cursing, VK has been quite a successful leader so far. Since taking over the ODI reigns in 2013, Virat is captain in 57 matches, winning 42. He has a success rate of almost 73%, which is the best in this era. Comparing that with the report card of Dada and Dhoni, Virat clearly has a better success rate. In Test cricket, Chiku has notched up 26 wins in 46 games with a whopping 56% success rate. That is in fact just second to Steve Waugh in the all-time list when it comes to a minimum 40 tests as captain. Comparing that to MS and Ganguly, Virat is head and shoulders above. His success rate of 56% is much higher as compared to his predecessors. But as Ricky Ponting, the great Australian captain said that winning a World Cup is the only yardstick to judge a captain. VK of course is yet to win a World Cup and his number is the same as Saurav Ganguly who came very very close in 2003 to winning the world title. But MS Dhoni on the other hand has two world titles. Dhoni, in fact, holds the world record for captaining India 332 times across the three formats, above the likes of Ricky Ponting and Kiwi captain Stephen Fleming. So by assessing the numbers and success rate in each format, VK is much better than Dhoni and Ganguly. Though Virat has a long way to go and his first major test in ODI cricket will come during the 2019 World Cup. So who's your favourite captain of the three? Tell us in the comments below.